I love video games. It's one of the most stimulating, fun things that we can experience on this planet. Most of the self-improvement videos online have a lot of hate for video games. You'll find thousands of videos telling you to quit it immediately. But I wanted to make a different type of video on why we should be grateful for the years we spent playing video games, the years that we spent competing against our friends, ranking on the leaderboards, grinding out on these games. Because there's actually a secret advantage for people who used to play games or currently play games that will allow them to evolve fast. But most people don't utilize this part of themselves. I definitely did it for years. I was playing so many games. I would wake up early before school just to play more games. It was insane. But I would see myself have a terrible social life. Everything was going down. All of my friends were people that I would also play games with. And when I meet them in real life, we just wouldn't relate on anything else besides the games that we were playing. It was the most dry conversations. It was not a real friendship. My social skills took a huge hit. They didn't play that one game. There was no way we were talking. It was it was that bad. It wasn't until I found a new game, a new way of progressing, a new way of competing against people that I was able to change my life. My social life improved. I started talking to girls for the first time in my life and I got a girlfriend. And most of all, I became more of myself. I became more authentic. The reason video games are so enjoyable, and this relates heavily to the secret that you have, is that when you compete against other people and you rank on a leaderboard, you know how like when you play Mario Kart or Smash or like most of these games like Call of Duty, at the end of every round, it shows you a leaderboard who had the most kills and it ranks you person one, person to person three based on how well you did and then you want to go and you want to rank higher on that leaderboard you want to get more kills you want to put in more time you want to get better at it with mario kart or smash you're going to grind out more you're going to practice more so you can rank higher on the leaderboard the reason that we love competing in leaderboards is that for millions of years the human race would have to compete against other people for resources for food for water and so it is baked in our dna in order to get rewarded for competing against other people just think about if you were in a tribe back then right and you just started grinding out like your ability to hunt like you got really good at running around and being stealthy at just being able to track down animals and you started bringing back the most amount of food for the tribe how would you get rewarded most people would treat you with more respect your status in the tribe would raise to another level because you're the one who's providing the most for everyone in the tribe. This is our primal instinct to compete for status, to raise our skill level above other people, to rank higher in whatever group that we were in because this is how it was for millions of years as we were evolving. This is what I discovered when I went to the gym. I started lifting weights. You know bench press when you're pressing a bar in front of your chest? I started at 135 pounds. I increased it to 140 the next week, 145 the next week. It was so trackable how I was gaining my strength. And then I also got bigger in my muscles. But to be honest, like if I'm being really honest, I think the biggest reason that I kept coming back and I was so motivated by the numbers going up was that I was getting stronger than the people around me and I was getting bigger than the people around me. If I was by myself and I didn't see any other people, I don't think I would be as motivated to keep coming back to the gym. But because I could, because I was competing with other people, I kept coming back week after week, month after month. I started raising my status in the real life leaderboard, seeing other people. This is a superpower. This is a secret that video games can give you if you used to play a lot of them or you currently play a lot of them. Your brain really wants to compete. You're a very competitive person. All you need to do is feed it another game. And for most people, they'll just go for two weeks and then they'll get sore and then they won't come back. You have to get past that initial hump where you're getting used to where you are. You see the progression of, oh, I'm gaining five pounds a week in my strength level. I'm starting to see the size. So you get to get past that initial hump because no matter what, those first two weeks are going to suck a bit. You're going to feel sore. Your body has never experienced this amount of pressure going on. It's used to just sitting down in a terrible posture and just playing games. The best way to get started in the gym is to go down in the description and get my PDF because I just made a split that you can try right now and some diet guides you can just apply immediately and you'll see results. I also have Jeff Nippard linked down below. He's who I used in order to learn techniques and to learn what to do in the gym, the form, the perfect science-based stuff. His videos are also just so entertaining. Like I can, I highly recommend recommend him i would say like oh you should go watch my videos but his are better like his workout videos are much better than the ones that i currently have so just go check that out that's how i learned and you will get everything you need but the most important thing with going to the gym is consistency it doesn't matter what tactic you have it doesn't matter what split you have literally just show up to the gym every day and just have fun 
and you will make so much more progress than your friends who try to get the most science-based thing and then they show up three times a week because they think it's efficient. Just start showing up, having fun, and I promise you will see results. Switch out video games for the real life game of lifting weights and see your life transform. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you got any value from this, hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so the algorithm can push more of my videos to you. Subscriptions don't really matter anymore and watch this next video.